So we're gonna do the bow and arrow. So let's say our partner comes in for a drop Sianagi. Okay, we stop it, but we have the far lapel position. So I'm gonna put my hand on the back to stop the throw. I'm gonna move him down into turtle position. Sometimes from here, he may have his chin down. So what I wanna do is, I wanna use the back of my hand to lift his face up and then scoop it and snap it back underneath the chin. Then from here, now what I have to do is stand up. My left leg, okay, if my right hand's grabbing on the lapel, my left leg is gonna step over and I'm gonna shoot it through underneath his body. Then I'm gonna do a straight forward somersault. So I'm grabbing onto the leg, rolling straight forward. Okay, and now my head should just go down to the foot. I roll over the top. And now this hand, it's important here. In judo, I can't grab and scoop and bend his knee back. So I can't grab below the knee. What I have to do is scoop by the thigh and I can grab onto the gi pants, extend with the inside leg, pull back, finish off the bow and arrow. So one more time. He comes in for a Sianagi. I'm gonna grab the lapel, hand in the back, stop the throw, move forward to push him down. If it's over his chin, right, I can't choke over the face. I need to pull with the back of the hand, snap it down, step, head comes down to my foot, I roll with a somersault. Now, if my leg is trapped underneath him, I need to extend it out so that it's a pillow underneath his head. Now I can extend, pull back, finish the bow and arrow.